When athletes are playing sports and getting in end range of motion positions, it's important that one set of muscles contracts to get them there. The opposing set of muscles relaxes so they can get there. So if we look at Kenzie, who's a volleyball player and she's going to spike a ball, these muscles would be contracting. These muscles would be relaxing in order to let her get in position. The answer is false. These muscles would be contracting concentrically to pull her back, which means these muscles need to be contracting eccentrically to let her get into position. And then more importantly, explode to come forward and hit the ball. Now, if she does have really good flexibility and she's going back into this position, that would mean she doesn't have control and we have a pathological problem because these set of, this set of muscles could be inhibited, which would make this set of muscles too tight, not allowing the uh, range of motion to occur and that's when we start having shoulder problems. So the take home message here is muscles don't ever relax unless there's a problem because relaxed muscles would be inhibited muscles. In order to have normal mechanics, whether you're an athlete or anybody else, you have to have facilitation on both sides so you have give and take with concentric and eccentrically loaded muscles.